in daily life. I'm just Anne. Boychuk is just some kind of uh, uh, umbrella I fell under 20 years ago. And uh, yeah, I'm the Christmas painter. I'm from Bergen, Norway. I, I grew up in, in Bergen and I lived there the first uh, 18 years of my life. I first came to Canada in 1988 uh, as an exchange student, but that's not possible since I'm 17 years old, so there's some miscalculations. So I was here for a year and then I went back to Norway and took grade 12 for the second time because I was planning on taking university in Norway. And then when I graduated there, I ended up deciding I was gonna come back to Canada. And my former English teacher had said that, uh, go to Brandon University because you will be a name, not just a student number. And I took her advice and I went to Brandon University over and over and over. And uh, I became a name, not just a student number. The biggest things for me is color and texture. Color and texture, that is my love. When I'm painting on glass, the one side is gonna be completely smooth. That's why I paint on the outside, because I can get some texture. And 22 below is like the, the super mark when things can get really textured. When it comes to painting, I always seek textures. And uh, uh, the two textures that are sort of like my, my babies that I nurse, they're called peat and coffee. I have peat that I crumble and all my peat come from Norway. My, my, ne my, my next exhibition in Norway, the peat will be the focus, but right now it's coffee grinds. Amazingly great thing about coffee grinds is that it's a composition between water, coffee grinds and paint. I'm still looking forward to see more of it. I got a $200 job to paint the windows for Pickle Fest and they liked it, so they wanted me to paint some more windows. And then there was three businesses that wanted. One was Scotia Optical, one was some little computer outfit, one was Big Brothers and Sisters of Canada. And all of a sudden I had a letter in the mail that said you cannot conduct business in the city of Brandon without a proper business license. I didn't think of myself as a business. But I was very law-abiding, so I got all nervous, and so I ran into City Hall, and I, was, I guess I got to get a business license. With that, I thought I was so proud, because the, the second month in, I made $1,700. But then I thought, now it's going to be wintry, and nothing's going to happen. But then something called Christmas happened, and that has really, really affected my life. The first year, I was so excited, because I bought a brand new fridge with money straight in my hand that's how i started painting and uh, that's how i became the window painter i see a lot of things and i think of a lot of things and there is a tremendous amount of things that i want to do and explore with the art i have made many choices in life based on christmas painting mm -hmm.